Morning all. Uh, it is Thursday, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm led to believe and everybody keeps saying it. Um, we are, okay, yeah, racks, racks are starting to come in shape and all that sort of stuff. Um, today I wanted to do something a little special. It's, it's a twofold thing. So talking about the, the smaller brands, the smaller, as I described Brendan, it's the most boutique of boutique distilleries. Oh, yes, very boutique. Um, and um, in Mulroy, Michal, in, in Mulroy, I, I think he's Mulroy. even smaller. Possibly. Than than uh, Brendan in, in Killam. Uh, I was listening to a podcast with him the other day, and I think I want to go without drinking with him. <laughs> I just think he would be mad crack. No, he seems like a nice lad. Uh, he is lovely. He's been here with us a yeah. couple of times as well, but I, I think I would love to go without drinking with him because it would be a bit of crack. Um, I'll, I'll go through other stuff first. So Cologne, um, the Kuiga collection, the Kuiga, uh, they went really well. Uh, there was a bit of Ferrari. Guys were saying who was selling this and they wanted yes. to know who was selling it and all that sort of stuff. There's another one, strangely enough, somebody else thought. Oh, well, might as well. Might as well, yeah. So there's another one of them in. They've been well received. A lot of them were opened. A lot of guys were drinking that. They've been really well received. And even at the tasting that they had, do you remember, do you remember Paul and, and, and Brendan and all yeah. them had done the tasting? Everybody seems to like it. You know, there was a we have We have samples up there. Uh, Brendan dropped us in some samples to taste. Haven't got around to doing it yet. No. We have to get st static for long enough. So Cologne literally is... Maybe we spend is... all next week. How much? What do you think? That's a great idea, Ken. That's a fantastic <laughs> idea. I don't think it would be All any... the samples we have Absolutely. in the building. Spend the whole week. Anybody phones up, they'll get the height of a beer <laughs> yeah. spend the phone. Why are you asking? I'm lost on the end of the phone. Hello? Actually, I do that any half the time. I phone and, to answer the phone with God knows what. Robert trying to... Um, keep us under. Be like a, trying to herd orangutans. <laughs> it really would be a bit but anyway, mad, right? Um, Brendan Cologne literally has direct fired, uh, flamed, direct flat, flamed, direct fired stills. There you go. Uh, Michael up in uh, Boylock has the exact same. I think it's a unique thing. Uh, brilliant. And I, I think from a game we've learned from the Scotch ones, some of the big distilleries had uh, direct fired. Yeah flames they went and tried the steam and they went actually no our whiskey's not the same put it the back same. the same uh our discussions with brendan about we're, we're setting up a, a crowdfunding aren't we we are we're <laughs> gonna send up a page to 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 because poor christoph he's getting his arse burnt he's getting the arse burnt, burnt from himself. and <laughs> we have to save him yeah or replace him yeah one or the other. So I we think haven't, haven't Brendan, decided Brendan starts building up a kitty now to replace Christor when the arse finally falls out of the bottom. Yeah, the poor wee bugger. Yeah, 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 get the whole yeah, bottle. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Brendan's got some great stuff in this month's auctions. There's uh, dark rum, which he makes himself. Um, the smell of some that just oh, in, his, in his is where his, his barrels are. Uh, Pinot Noir and uh, that's the Virgin Cast. They're all well done. Uh, the next thing I wanted to talk about was bonders. So again, Louise uh, and the team down in, in JJ Curry are the first of the new breed of bonders. Mm -hmm. But don't forget there was somebody else before him. And I heard this in a, in a podcast the other day and they were talking about um, Ali and the team up in Celtic. They've been doing bonding for, for a while. You know, they've been doing the Celtic cast series. Again, I've voiced my opinions on it. I think it's one of the most underrated collections out there. Oh, because God, yeah, big time. Where else are you going to get the spectrum of whiskey that's in it, yeah. but also finishes? I mean, they've put some fantastic finishes, and finishes before anybody else was doing finishes as well. So the Celtic Cast collection, I think, is a real underrated thing. I think it's in and around the 30 number now in bottle-wise. Yeah. Um, and it's a huge spectrum, like we... We've tasted a couple of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and, and the range on the thing. The presentation, she's a bit agricultural, but, but it's nice. And I'd love to see, I think I know somebody with a full set. So do I. And it's going to put it on display. Oh, hopefully. Because um, it, it is fab. It, like is, it is. It is yes, a super. Yes, but, it's a wee bit agricultural. Uh, that's the one, that's the, the 21C that was done for charities uh, for the Whiskey Live. Yeah. So that's another one. Uh, Natter Jackson, another Down new Syndrome one. Down Syndrome, Ireland. Down Syndrome, Ireland. Uh, Nano Jack's another one now of the, the new bonders that's there ha having a, a bit of whiskey and all that sort of stuff. Um, I put the scotch up because, again, it's Port Charlotte. 
these small boutique distilleries, what I was referring to here, the Port Charlotte one, the Highland Park, and uh, Octave is, is another one done. They're all creeping into the Irish market mm. now. We wouldn't have traditionally had them. We would have had, you know, the McCallums and the, the bigger scotches yeah. and the Johnny Walkers. And but I think they're easing off on some of the really heavy, peated, smoky ones. And it's, you know, our, the, the Irish people are getting into the, the sort of lightly peated scotch whiskey. Or the other way around, Katie. Is I don't that, know. That, that Irish people are now getting used to drinking whiskey neat. And they're developing the taste for the, the, the stronger scotches and the peated scotches. Don't forget, it's an awful gener generalisation to make all scotches are peated. They're not. Oh, I know that. You know, you've got some fantastic whiskey up there. I, Me and Glen Ranji, I always loved Glen Ranji. Lovely, florally mm -hmm. whiskey. Really, really easy to drink. I do like me floral whiskey. Maybe yeah. that's something that's in me. Uh, so that's them. I wanted to go back to Mulroy. Um, the reason being, this set here of five is our charity lot this month. Yeah. And this is the second time that Michael Michal, if he's in Donegal, I'm sure he's a Michal, uh, has put something up for charity. And I just cannot but applaud a guy who's that small, oh, geez, who's uh, making that much effort. Small, I don't mean to be no, disrespectful, but he is only a small, he's yeah. a one-man band. And this is the second time that he's done stuff for charity with us. And I'm sure if he's doing it with us, he must be doing other stuff as of well. Of course. He's raising money again for the, the Loxwilly or an LI. Um, obviously, his distillery, his cottage, overlooks from Mulroy Bay, and that's where the, the Mulroy Bay whiskeys come out of. These are potchines. I don't believe you're allowed to call them Irish potchines or barrel aged. They're all this. No, they're Donegal potchines. Bullshit. That I, I could have to use the word Ooh. bullshit. And no, I'm, I'm feeling strongly about it. The guy is working his ass off, and to have to. You know, have all yeah. these T's and C's imposed on them. It is, I think you can call it Irish potty, but you're not allowed to call it cast aged or barrel aged. It has to be barrel rested, or I even think now that it's you know, having to be snooze in a barrel for 10 weeks or something oh, right, like that. Okay. Uh, Sherry Wood, uh, that's uh, Port Wood, and there's a Port Wood peated as well. So there's, there's the five. That full set of five is going into the auction, raising money for uh, Luxwilly. Luxwilly or an LI. They are punchy stuff. I mean, 52%, 56%, 63%, 60%, 55%. Wouldn't it be a great night's crack sitting drinking down with Michael? Actually, It'd Brendan Carty, Brendan Carty, Paul from Belfast Whiskey Week, and Michal. And can you imagine the passion and the discussions and all that that oh, would no, be going be on there? It'd be an absolute mess. It'd be great crack. It would. Can we organise that here next week? Uh, and we'll do the tasting with them. And you can all sleep in the <laughs> So that's it. That's uh, today's video. Uh, it wasn't a whole heap. I really want to draw attention to the two, I, I think, of my favourite little distilleries at the minute. Cologne. We went down to Brendan. We had to collect something off from there two weeks ago. Uh, on my birthday. No doubt. Yes. We did go down on my birthday. Um, and I, it, it was our first time seeing it. Seeing photos. Seeing that. It is just fantastic. Oh, it is. Yeah. And the man... He loves really his it. whiskey. Like he really loves what he's doing. He's really passionate about what he's doing. Uh, and Michael as well, up in uh, Boylock as well. So I really want, if you see them bottles in the shop, if you ask your local independent retailer to get them in, stock them and put them on the shelves, because yeah. these guys are, are, are just, they're the definition of Irish distilling at the minute for me. So that's it. Uh, charity item, don't forget, don't miss out on it. And I think there is another charity item. There's a bottle of 2019. Yes. There is another we, bottle of... We'll touch on that tomorrow. Touch on that yeah. tomorrow. Okay. Cool. That's it. We're talking on tomorrow. We're going live tomorrow at five. Uh, add to your watch list. I already waved. Wave again. Go on. Okay. Bye. Bye.